dating tips for Indian men in the USA. Being that 20 to 30% of my students are Indian, it only seems right that I present a few dating tips for Indian guys. Immigrants don't shed their skin and personalities when they step foot on American soil. Each immigrant brings their own unique culture and attitudes with them as they navigate American life. These uniquely foreign features can work for and against you. Immigrant or not, your habits and personality have been deeply impacted by your ethnicity. In this video, we'll zero in on how Indian men can leverage their culture to improve their dating life. We'll also take a look at what other areas Indian men in particular need to take a look at if they want to thrive in the American dating scene. Dating tips for Indian men in the USA. Leverage your family. It seems counterintuitive to wield your family as a dating tool, but hear me out. It's no secret that Indians cherish their families. While the cookie cutter American family only gets together during the most prized of holidays, Indian families stay close knit year round. There's simply more importance placed on families within the Indian culture than American. Don't shy away from this dynamic. You shouldn't have to spurn or downplay the importance of such an integral part of your life in order to find love. Your family will be around longer than any romantic interest. Instead of sequestering your family from your love life, use them to reel your woman in. Studies have shown that women are attracted to men that place great importance on familial unity. Women want to see their new lovers interacting fondly with a family. Women are always looking for reassurance that their new hubby will make for a great father. There's no better way to convince her that you'll be a great husband and father than by rocking your little niece in your arms or by playing soccer with your little cousins. Showing off your family early on in the relationship may work to your advantage if she takes to them. Like I said, most Americans only see their family members during major holidays, but that doesn't mean they are anathema to family time. Americans are lonelier than ever nowadays. She'd be ecstatic to get welcomed into your family and extend her social circle. Once your family meets her, solicit their opinions. Your family knows you best. They can act like an internal board of directors and give her the thumbs up or down. Family members are more perceptive about who you're compatible with than you would think. Ask for their advice or don't. They're bound to give it soon enough anyways. Downplay the timeline. Some Indian men come to us with a dilemma. They need to find a partner ASAP or else. It kind of sounds like the beginning of a fairy tale, actually, except it's real. And instead of an evil witch being the villain, it's the main character's parents. Our students know their parents have the best of intentions, but prefer to do things their way. That being said, their folks have given them a timeline and want them to meet a girl and settle down by a certain date. If not, the parents are threatening to matchmake for them. With that in mind, I have a couple of things to say. One is that you can totally be open about looking for a serious partner without mentioning a timeline. No need to tell her that you need to find a lady ASAP or else your parents will set you up. Only say this if you're dating an Indian woman who intimately understands what that feels like. When in doubt, just keep that information to yourself. But again, there's nothing wrong with being upfront and telling her that you're not dating to waste time or for one night stands, but you're dating to find a forever partner. Secondly, we know what you're going through. Hundreds of our students have felt their parents breathing down their necks, pressuring them to get married. We teach students how to mega date, or in other words, date various women at once so they can quickly find their ideal partner. But look, even if you don't feel pressured by your parents, you yourself may feel the pressure. A few days ago, I spoke with a prospective student who is about to turn 33. He's been spending the last decade working on his career and has pushed dating to the side. Now he's getting older and has realized how hard it is to date nowadays. The older you become, the less of a pool of partners you have to choose from. Our student Aryan felt the same way. That's why he teamed up with us. After seven months, 
he found his new American girlfriend. They've now been together for over a year. He recently sat down with us to provide advice for men that are in the position he once was. Play up your culture. Similar to your family, your culture is something that you can't escape. Instead of downplaying its importance, bring it to the forefront of your new relationship. In my Dating Decoded program, I teach students how to invite a woman back to their place using a signature move that isn't explicitly sexual. This never fail move usually involves asking her to come back to your abode so that you can make her a dessert unique to your family or culture that she can't get anywhere else. Framing the opportunity to eat your disparate dessert as a once in a lifetime opportunity will persuade her to come back to your place. However, she'll only feel as though you're telling the truth if you play up your cultural roots. To demonstrate the appeal of the unknown, allow me to offer an anecdote from my 100 date experiment. After a date with a Tunisian man, he invited me back to his place to smoke hookah. We smoked the wet tobacco and he told me stories about his culture, country, and customs. It was awesome to have someone so unique open me up to a world I had never known before. Use your cultural roots to sweep someone away. Take them to Indian celebrations, listen to Indian music, and of course, dine on Indian cuisine. Never before have Americans been so willing to experience other cultures. Don't shy away from your culture, but instead leverage it. This will set you apart from other men trying to woo your woman. Don't buy into the stigma. In 2018, 30% of all marriages in Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, California were interracial. Las Vegas had an interracial marriage rate of 31%. In the whole of the United States, 18% of all marriages that took place in 2018 were interracial marriages. Is there still stigma related to dating a brown guy? Yes, but as you can see, that stigma is fading. To put the change into perspective, in 1980, just 10% of all weddings were interracial. The more cosmopolitan the city, the more likely someone is to date outside of their race. The browning of America is taking place before our eyes. Races are mixing, immigrants are continuing to emigrate, and whites just aren't having babies like they used to. Despite evil policies being put forth by the right, this is still the best time to be an immigrant or dark-skinned person in America. Remember that it was only in 1967 when the Supreme Court legalized interracial marriage. That's crazy! The numbers don't lie. American women are more open to dating outside of their race than ever before. Don't let your mindset get in the way of finding a partner. If you think you're sexy, so will she. Women are most attracted to confidence, not skin complexion. Indian men in American dating don't always have it easy, but take comfort in this. I should also mention our student Aryan is in an interracial relationship. If he can do it, why can't you? Branch out socially. It feels safe to exclusively hang out with Indian people. This is fine so long as you're content with only ever meeting Indian women. Despite 3.8 million people of Indian ethnicity living in the United States, you're vastly limiting your dating pool if you only date Indian women. 3.8 million sounds large, but not when you consider that only half of those people are women. Of those women, only a couple hundred thousand are within your age range. And of that subset, there are probably only a few hundred close enough to date. Did I mention that most are probably already taken? A byproduct of expanding your social circle is getting to meet more women. Married women, young women, fit women, women that don't shave their armpits, etc. It doesn't matter who you're interacting with. What matters is that you're honing your social skills, expanding your social group and meeting new people. If you stay social and open to interacting with new people, in time, you'll find someone worth partnering with. Expanding your social group means not just hanging with your family and work friends. Take trips out or into the city, depending on where you live. Hit the coastline, attend meetup events, join a sports league, or enroll in a yoga class. Do whatever needs to be done in order to put yourself on a path that will lead to creating meaningful relationships. Get a mentor or role model. 
Who do you look to for dating role models in the USA? It could be that cheesy Hollywood romance films have been your romantic guide. Obviously, dating in the States is much different than it is in India. Some Indian students of mine describe growing up in homes where their parents weren't allowed to touch or be romantic in public. Others have noted that they were discouraged from even touching the opposite sex until they were engaged. While not every Indian man shares these experiences, it goes without saying that dating is, on the whole, different in the USA. If you don't have any dating role models to show you the way, allow a dating coach to be your guide. A dating coach understands the ins and outs of dating in America. A dating coach can be viewed as a professional wingman, or in my case, wingwoman. With a little help, you'll learn dating strategies and techniques that will help you find and court single women of all ethnicities. Use your parents as part of your guidance system. Even if your folks have had an awful marriage that no child hopes to emulate, lessons can still be learned. Either positive or negative, by observing our parents, we can figure out how best to behave while in a relationship. Comb through your memories to figure out the source of love or hate within your parents' marriage. Ask yourself what makes them happy or sad. Create a list of do's and don'ts by observing the behavior of your parents or older siblings. Use this information to inform how you behave in a romantic relationship going forward. Your parents have a wealth of romantic experience under their belts, even if they've only ever been with one person. You'd be willfully negligent to not mind them for useful knowledge. Keep yourself balanced. Find equilibrium between your romantic and work lives. Don't get so caught up in the grind that you forget about eating healthy, working out, and spending time with family and friends. Perhaps I'm biased being a Bay Area resident, but many Indian students who work in San Francisco often get burned out from work. It's difficult, if not impossible, to find a woman if you're working more than 50 hours a week and are too tired to exert yourself romantically after work hours. Finding a balance between the two is crucial if you want to find a high value woman. I hope the aforementioned eight dating tips for Indian guys has helped you. And I know the advice might seem pretty heavy at first, but remember, you don't have to go it alone. Dating Decoded. Dating can be exhilarating, intoxicating, and super fun if you're on a roll. If you're not, it can really suck. Rejection after rejection, being ghosted, and struggling to really connect with someone can suck the romantic out of you. When you join Dating Decoded, you'll not only team up with a host of coaches from fitness to mock date coaches, but will join a community of men just like you. Men that are done with being single and are in the process of transforming their romantic lives. Our students converse with one another both on and offline. They help each other out, empathize with one another, and hold each other accountable. Twice a month, we also host man cave sessions where guys can come together to talk dating, bond, and get things off their chest in a judgment-free and supportive environment. But what will you learn? To help you find someone ASAP, we'll teach you how to make a date. By mining both off and online social channels for dates, you'll quickly meet an abundance of women, refine your dating skills, boost your confidence, refine who your ideal partner is, and ultimately find a partner. In our program, we'll teach you via our online curriculum, weekly live strategy sessions, and mock dates, the ins and outs of modern dating. Book a one-on-one -on -one discovery session with my team so we can diagnose your personal dating obstacles. We'll discuss your history, romantic goals, and see if our program Dating Decoded can help you achieve them. Some of the benefits of my program are that you'll learn how to adhere to the mega dating philosophy, create a slamming online dating profile, learn how to message like a pro on the apps and via text, figure out how to craft unforgettable dates, get rid of your fear of flirting and rejection, and ultimately find your next romantic partner. And one last huge benefit of Dating Decoded, it's a lifetime membership with unlimited coaching and support.
That wraps up this video, guys. If you like this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, leave us a comment in the comments below, and follow us on social media. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.